Good afternoon, everybody in Grand Community today. How's your day going today? I am your brother and friend, Mr. AB, coming your way this afternoon. I'm coming to react to the voice note made by Abdul Razak Yakubu, the president of All Grand Pressure Group, aka German Machine. Um, Grand Community, I am coming to let you know that Abdul started his voice note by trying to tell us to list for us the names of uh, failed grant uh, uh, NGOs. I mean, failed grants that we have uh, subscribed to in Nigeria. And uh, when Abdul started, he told us in that voice note, he mentioned voice, uh, Terpecon, Sam, Theobat, uh, Golden Bridge, Commonwealth. In fact, less than 10 failed grants in Nigeria. And lastly, he mentioned UAAG as one of the failed grants. And then I, I laughed when I heard him mention UAAG. And then I want to ask Abdul, Abdul Yakub, I am asking you now. If UAAG is a failed grant, why have you been fighting to be the one that will disburse the money since after verification last year, November? Since after verification, you started fighting against Apostle Ken. In fact, at a point, you and your brother, Stas Daoud, became so hard on Apostle Ken and UAAG to be the person that should disburse this money to Nigerians. Why have you been fighting against him? Why have you been the person that is fighting to tunnel to make sure that every disbursement that will go on, that will take place in UAAG, must be done by you and your colleagues in all Grand Pressure Group? And you people fought that war until less than two weeks ago when you people committed blunder when the your slaves your psychophants committed blunder and you people your name everything that has to do with you and your organization the all grand pressure group we are totally excommunicated and removed and terminated and deleted from the process of UAAG disbursement. And then when you were when you were disqualified and removed, pata pata. Was it when is was it after just then that your eyes cleared? As you can assume now. And then your eyes cleared. And you came to realize that UAAG is a failed grant. Abdul, have you seen your hypocrisy? I know in this voice note you released, you have just come to do um, damage control. That is what you just came to do. You just came to do damage control. So that people will not hold you for their money. Nigerians, please listen. Let me tell you the game Abdul Razak Yakubu came to play in his voice note. You know, Abdul and his brother, Ostas Dawood, and uh, Admin Elis, Allwell Undubeze. I, I, I made a mistake. I don't need to call you all well, but I've just mentioned that name. And all these uh, slaves. 
that the that Abdul and his co his cohorts employed to work for them to insult Apostle K. All these people has been fighting and collecting money from people. I am among them that paid money to all Grand Pressure Group. And the people paid money ranging from 200, 300, 400,000 to these people. And they have collected this money from thousands of people. And when they have collected this money, Abdul now came because they have eaten the money which they have collected. Many of them are now millionaires and uh, they are now big boys. Check out our Stas Daoud now, who used to tell us that he was a primary school teacher. Ask us Stas Daoud if he is still a primary school teacher now. He has become a big boy, eating money now, people's money. And that is the same way Abdul himself and all of them has been eating, living large now. Now I want to tell you the secret of what Abdul came to do. The damage control he came to do is that as far as they have collected this money, to pay this money back to the people, to their owners, is now hard for them because they have no money to give to anybody, anywhere. But what he has come to say and to tell us is that we are not expecting to receive grant from them that is not coming we are not coming to we're not expect we should not be expecting grants from them and he was so smart to avoid mentioning palliative but rather he called it another thing another a project government project a project coming from the government to to the people and it has to do with the uh, um, agricultural and the skill acquisition programs and projects. And uh, he is telling us all these things so that because they know now they have been totally uprooted from the process of UAS stroke UAAG grant, of which our dear father in the Lord, Apostle Professor Ken Machineke. Mwakama is now the is now in charge is the as the country director and now they know that he's going to disburse they know they know very well that Ken is go, going to disburse and quick and when he disburses that you people any of us none of us should ask them for our own disbursement from them because they have no money to disburse them to anybody and we must ask and when we ask then they will be bold to tell us that they should be they tell us should be they told us that uh, it is a, a a government project that government is still processing it that government is still coming to give us the something we should cool down let everybody calm down from time to time us uh, either our stars or abdul or any other psychophant they will employ as spokesperson. Just the same way they employ the all uh, evil well, Nunduboeze, who came and uh, committed blunder with his mouth. Now, when they come up from time to time, they will tell us that they are coming. Everybody should calm down, that the process is ongoing, and those in charge helping them working for them are doing very well we should calm down and that will be when ken has dispersed and uh, because of the disbursement because of the joy of the disbursement we will be ready to forfeit all this money they have collected from us because already they have done the disbursement to themselves through all the money they have collected from us so my people that is just the truth that i have told you now and before you know it everything about all this money they collected will fizzle away we will not remember it again that is why abdul started with mentioning same 
Tepecon, Teobat, Golden Bridge, Supreme, and the uh, Commonwealth, and the next, and the uh, few of them he mentioned, he, well, less than 10 names or 10 of the Fed grants that he mentioned. You see? So that when you think about it, you will say, after all, these other people have collected our money and we cannot see them again. We endured it. Uh, person will go die now and, uh, and they just leave it and they eat our money and go away. That is the game he came to do, to play today. Because he knew that disbursement is just by the corner. And if he doesn't do anything, if he doesn't do that voice note now, hmm, disbursement takes place, he will have many questions to answer and he will not have any place to hide his ugly head. That is why Abdul came to do this evil voice note and damage control to tell us that UAH is one of the, fa the failed grants. Let us watch and see. And if you ask him, shall you say, when that time comes and you ask him, shall you say, UAH is one of the failed grants, but UAG has this boss, he'll tell you, no, that, that is because government favored them. And uh, now they have this boss, well, and they will be both to tell you that our own is coming. Just calm down. We are waiting for the, for the, uh, for the, for the palliative, uh, for the project. And remember, in the voice note, Abdul told us that this money we're expecting from the, from, from government through them. He told us that it is not a free money. Go and listen to that voice note again. He said it is not a free money. It is not a free money. You can't listen to it again. He said it is not a free money, but he did not specify whether it is a loan or what. He only said it is a project. It is a, an agri a project that has to do with agriculture and uh, skill acquisition and whatever, whatever he mentioned. But it is not free. My people, Please, Nigerians, listen very well. When I have been shouting, telling you people that these people are evil, that they have nothing for anybody, that all Grand Pressure Group are fake, the only good people in all Grand Pressure, all Grand Pressure Group have left. And I want to let you know that the noble man who was in all Grand Pressure Group, who established all Grand Pressure Group, Mr. Kingsley left that organization, not even to remain as a member, but he left because he has seen the type of people that came in as members of all Grand Pressure Group. He knew that there is nothing in this set, that this set of people that came, especially Ostas Dawuda and his brother, that have nothing to offer anybody. They have nothing, nothing good to offer anybody than violence and evil, hatred, envy and jealousy. Then Kingsley left, handed over to Newman. Newman stood there as the president. And they, at a point, they tackled Newman. They kicked, started, they kicked him. I know at a point, this young man could not bear it, and he left, not even staying as uh, not even living as uh, the president, uh, you know, relinquishing the seat or the position as the, of the president, but he left the organization. Bata, bata. And now Abdul took over. Look at how he landed. The only good people that remained with them out of jealousy and envy and wickedness because they ordered Abdul ordered that every one of them should take oath of allegiance to him, the president. And these wonderful good people decided not to embark on such wickedness against God and humanity. And uh, who am I talking about? I'm talking about Comrade Livingstone and Comrade Ada Zion. And look at what is happening in all Grand Pressure Group at the moment. They are gone. Remember, I told you last time that all Grand Pressure Group is a by is a bygone. It is gone and gone forever. 
it is gone. And so, my people, I want to encourage you to keep calm. In a short moment from now, the disbursement of UAAG will take place. The country director of UAAG has worked tirelessly to make sure that this money is disbursed. And can I shock you? Shortly, we will be there. We are there already, but shortly, you will hear that good news, which you want to hear. You hear it from the country director of UAAG in the person of Ambassador Professor Ken Mwakama Mwachineke. And therefore, I want you to remain calm and remain resolute. Shortly, we will receive our money. Do not allow their voice no, that Abdul voice note to disturb your mind. He's not well. I tell you that UAH is a failed grant. Don't mind him. It is because they have failed and they have been excluded from every process of the disbursement of this money. And they have nowhere to receive money to pay me and you anymore. That is why. That is why. He came up to say this thing so that when can these bosses, I want you to understand the point. When can these bosses, and you ask him, what about your own? Ken has this boss. What about the palliative or whatever you say? The project money you said we are will be expensive. He will then them tell you that uh, he said he will just tell you to calm down. That government is working every day and night to make sure that this thing comes. My people, I want to let you know that if government of Nigeria have money, money that belongs to the government to give to us, to give to anybody, that process must start from the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and not to just be given to Abdul and his all grand pressure group of Nigeria. Remember these people, according to the ethics of their organization, they are pressure, pressure group to pressure, to pressure grant handlers in Nigeria to disburse their money to the masses and not as grant handlers. It is quite pity and regrettable that at this time they have left that honorable course and then made themselves grant handlers and have thereby deceitfully collected lots and lots of money from the innocent Nigerians who are CEOs and have registered different cooperatives and NGOs and given to them and they have collected all our money. It is regrettable and very unfortunate. But let us wait. For you, all Grand Pressure Group leader, Abdul and your cohorts, I want to let you know that you will not eat our money. You will not eat our money. If you don't have money to disburse to us, please give us back our money. Nigerians, remember, in that voice note which uh, Abdul released, Abdul said that the government warned them not to collect any money from anybody. I believe I'm not the only one that heard it from his voice notes. Oh yeah, be the judge of this very statement he made. Did Abdul collect money from us Nigerians, or is it? Is it? Did he collect money or not? Abdul did not even collect ten, ten thousand, or five, five thousand. Abdul collected, ranging from Abdul and his organization, all his executive members. Apart from Azada, Ada Zion, and the Livingstone that just left them, other members, all of them, collected huge amount of money, ranging from two hundred thousand, one fifty thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand, and the rest of it. And that is why the Efulefu 
young men they employed to work for them we are jumping up and down i'm talking about evil and the and the arochuku man what is that his name a flavor admin all of them we are busy collecting money from the people promising them heaven and earth all grand pressure group are in charge they are going to they are calling them palace boys villa boys and all sort of names and the pride and arrogance has destroyed them let me see where you people will run to because Cain is coming to make us happy and as soon as he makes us happy all of you will try your best and make us happy as well you will give us the money we subscribed for so my people let nobody be discouraged at all because of the uh, that's his voice note nothing has gone wrong and nothing will ever go wrong remember i always make a statement that evil can never rule or reign over good it is never going to happen that is the word of god the word of god said it that evil can never reign or rule over the good therefore know it and i always tell you i want i want to remind you again that this UAAG stroke UAS program, the project, it is God's orchestrated and ordained project. No man can stop it. You can only try your best according to the wish of your master Satan to delay it. But after which you will remove your hand and certainly this money will be dispersed. So Nigerians, I want to implore you to pray for Apostle Professor Ken Mwachineke. Pray for him. Pray for God's protection and guidance upon him and his wife and children that no evil shall befall them. As for those of them that are planning assassination against him, they will assassinate themselves. Every evil accusation, every evil pointing of hand every full sacrifice every full thing they are doing in the secret and in the open against him shall fall back to them any evil pointing of hand and evil word they are releasing against any of us shall go back to them he shall never come near us he shall never come near apostle ken and therefore my people pray for him pray for everyone in the grand community that as many of us that are waiting for this blessing, that we shall all be alive to eat it and thereby praise the Almighty God. I greet you all once again. And I will come up subsequently to talk to us as the need arises. May God bless you. And I pray that God Almighty will protect and guide every one of us. I wish you a happy weekend and i say what congratulations to everyone that are uaag subscribers may god bless you